Kids, K-12 through schools paving a sustainable path through the use of solar energy. These schools have reduced their CO2 emissions and overall energy use, cut costs, and have sprung on education and enrichment opportunities from teaching within this environment. The most common method of producing solar energy occurs by a photovoltaic cell, or PV, which is a, dev a device made of silicon that converts sunlight into electricity. There are over 3,700 K through 12 schools and in turn almost 3 million students learning within a PV environment. The PV systems already installed in schools generate about 642,000 megawatt hours of electricity annually, equivalent to 78 million worth of utility bills and enough renewable energy to offset 50 million gallons of gasoline. They are not limited just to the sunbathed states. Schools in overcast regions designed their PV systems with trackers on them, which caused the photovoltaic modules to follow the sun's movement across the sky. And so thriving solar schools are popping up all over the country, from Washington State to New Jersey. And I actually had a really nice map here. I'm not sure why it didn't show up, but... <laughs> Um, for example, the state of Washington is home to 104 successful solar schools and the number is increasing rapidly. The Solar Foundation published the first nationwide report of how switching to solar schools has benefited the planet and communities across the country. While we all here do not doubt the climate of the earth is increasing and its effects are traumatic, it's still so shocking to hear the U.S. is, is responsible for a quarter of global greenhouse emissions that contribute to global warming. Residential, commercial, and industrial buildings use about half of the nation's energy, including about three quarters of the nation's electricity and account for over 40% of US carbon dioxide emissions. Plentiful and free, the utilization of the sun's energy is changing the Earth's future by reducing these huge carbon sources. The latest report of solar schools positive impact on the environment shows that these schools have reduced carbon emissions by about half a million metric tons. Schools that have embarked on this change have, also have results to prove that they are making strides in CO2 reduction. In Renewable Energy, a journal, authors describe how buildings turned solar showed an average reduction of 21% of consumed energy. This means that these systems are not only cutting back carbon emissions, but reducing energy use altogether. By conserving energy and harnessing sunlight, thousands of schools are seeing reductions in their utility bills. Barbara Worth, a director at a nonprofit that promotes creative school planning, talks about solar. And I quote, it's almost too good to be true, she says, and no one believes it. Most schools fund a solar project through a solar power purchase agreement where schools or districts work with a solar developer and solar installer. The developer funds and owns the system. In exchange for the free solar system, the school pays the developer for every solar kilowatt hour of energy produced for the next 20 years. The rate is almost always less than the local utility rate, which ends up saving the school money. After 20 years, the school has the option to buy or remove the system. Also, several states provide grants and rebates for re renewable energy use or development and allow about half the state and allow net metering in which extra solar generation can earn reimbursement from utility companies. One of the reasons some schools expect to gain millions from switching to solar energy. Porterville School District in California installed solar panels and determined that they will be able to reduce costs by 44 million over the next 25 years. These examples and facts show the economic advantages of solar energy, making it possible for almost any able and willing school district. Socially, solar energy education is cultivating the alternative energy pioneers of the future. Colorado's Chatfield High School is just one of thousands of solar schools thriving with the new hands-on solar technology. The school's engineering class constructs creative technology to store unused energy as well as learning how to repair the school's own solar panels. Environmental activism from districts all over the country such as the one at Durham Public Schools, is leading to more and more schools discovering their solar potential. 
Maybe most importantly though, solar schools are teaching the students and faculty that we must be involved in the process of change, also known as practice what you preach. While tackling global warming will require worldwide participation, the United States 132,000 K-12 schools have already and should continue to demonstrate the sustainable advancement toward a brighter future. Thank you.